moving. You quit touching it. It'll stop moving. moving. <laughs> And action. Action. <laughs> well, good morning. Cut, cut, cut. Are you a director now or what? And action. <laughs> My elbow pops. <laughs> good. good morning and welcome back. I had something that I was going to say, but now I uh, lost my train of thought again because someone made me laugh. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Once the thing stops moving. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep shaking along, doesn't it? And we're live. I'm three, and two, and one, and action! action. <laughs> Uh, well, here we go for like the 20th time. I can't keep my mind straight. Good morning. Welcome back. <laughs> it has been a very extremely cold week this week. It is negative 33 this morning, so I'm putting some clothes on so I can go outside. We don't want to do much outside because it is extremely cold. However... For our plans today, we're plan we got some more seeds to plant, and we're gonna do an experiment with uh, some cuttings on some of our plants we have in our yard. We're gonna see if we can't get them to root. Gotta make sure we get all layered up. Because, like I said, it's extremely cold out there. <laughs> what are you doing? Your phone's ringing. Ugh. I know. Being that it's so cold outside, we're not going to spend much time out there, but for the time we are out there, we want to stay warm, so. <laughs> Why are you putting that coat on? I'm just going outside to, oh, I was going to, I already got my other hoodie on, didn't I? We should really get you. So what I have here are some elderberries I planted a couple years ago and from what I hear is they're very easy to root so I'm gonna try to take some cuttings from there. from this one. And then I'll put two from this one. So what I'm doing is just cutting them down to the bottom. Hopefully they work out.
Okay. Right here, I uh, have a hedge of hazelnuts I'm trying to grow. Uh, Multi-purpose kind of thing. So I'm going to see about uh, getting some of these rooted. I don't know how well that's going to work. It seems to be a little more difficult than um, rooting out uh, elderberries. I'm just going to take one from this one. Because I'm going to need to prune some of these down anyways. That way I can uh, control its growth. And then maybe I'll take one more here. As close to the ground as I can get them. Okay. So I got a bunch of hazelnuts here. Looks like they're already getting ready to start budding. Good. I gotta let them kind of thaw out a little bit the uh it's still really really cold out okay here's where i have my grapes and they're all different varieties of grapes uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and just take some of these especially this one here is kind of growing all over the place and i want it to grow more towards this uh this um trellis now i'm not making any promises that any of these are actually going to work i've just been doing a little research into it and I'm hoping for the best okay. I'm gonna pull these nettings off before him One more over here, I want to trim off. So I had this bird netting on because the birds and the moths were getting to my grapes. Whoops, can't even see it. There we are. Hopefully this year it'll be big enough. I won't have to worry so much. I might just have to prune some of these down just to prune them. Going the wrong direction. 
Look like they're doing good though. I will take these inside and I got uh, one more thing I want to uh, I want to prune up and try to grow from. Just a um, a uh, red current. Uh, it's supposed to be another easy one to root, so I'm gonna. Then it did very well last year, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a few off of this here. It's a, a white current, I think. Then I had some black ones farther away, but they didn't uh, grow. So, so maybe I'll take maybe I'll take one from the white current. But I'm just trying to. Oh. Just so when you're ready, you can. Oh, I'm ready whenever you And action! Action! <laughs> so I even pruned back the uh, the grapes so they'll grow the direction we want them to grow. And I figured I might as well take some cuttings from there and see if we can't get them uh, uh, to root out. And maybe we'll won't have to go out and buy anymore. <laughs> I've got my hazelnut cuttings here. Hazelnut cuttings. I only took three from the hazelnuts. Nope, I took a fourth one. And then I got grapes here. Got to let them thaw out a little bit before we can work with them. Got my elderberries. Got one from the white currant because that's the only one that looked good enough to uh, get a cutting out of. And then four from the red currants. So this will be a fun experiment. Just gotta take them upstairs and trim them down a bit, I guess. Now I gotta give myself time to thaw out. <laughs> a little bit nippy out there. I don't even know how the um, video of me cutting these things came out. I should have looked at those, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> this will probably do the job for a couple of them, for at least four of them. There we go. You know it? All right. So I've been watching a lot of videos lately on how to uh, get these to root. Now, typically for a lot of different uh, trees, they use a root starter. From what I hear, you don't really have to use that with these uh, elderberries. Uh, so this will kind of be an interesting and fun experiment. <clears throat> Set those there. Let's see. So what I'm looking for is it's got to be four to six inches long. And you're looking for these buds on the sides. What you want to do, I don't know if you can see it. You just trim it off at the bud. 
Does it have to be at any kind of angle? No, it doesn't have to be. It just kind of helps out a little bit to keep your bearings straight. And if there's anything kind of growing out of it, just kind of knock it off. That's where your um, roots are going to come from. Then you want to go up to the next one and just trim it off. And supposedly it's that easy. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I don't make any promises. Sorry, kind of cut your head off. That's okay. I was zoomed in. That's okay. Yeah, so in theory, it's that easy. Then I'll just go ahead and grab my dirt and just shove her in there. Ooh, it's a little dry dirt, so I'll have to put some more water in there. And hope for the best. Can't wait to see how it comes out. Whether or not it works, it's a learning experience, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the, with the rest of it. This one in the window yet, or should I leave this one down here? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We got a lot of seeds and stuff still to plant too. So. I look how those tomatoes are coming along. Holy cow! <laughs> What's next? I have. Okay, I have grapes. <laughs> I think these are the um, Concord grapes. They're really sour, but they're good, make good jelly, I guess. They're, these ones are growing crazy out in the, by the trellis, and so I took them off. We'll see. How should I do this? Yeah, maybe just try to root them in a cup or something. That's a good start. I don't know. Or do we have any other bigger planters here? I got that coffee. Yeah, and that like, there's a planter inside that wooden box. There's that white jar. Yeah. We'll try the coffee can, see how that goes.
Okay, what I got here are my hazelnuts. I, <laughs> I couldn't find anything really on rooting hazelnuts. If you could find something, please let me know. But all I gather is everybody wants you to use their um, a root starter or anything like that. Uh, we are not going to do that. We are going to keep on the experiment. And I'm going to just trim this down kind of like anything else and put it in the in the uh, dirt and hope for the best. <laughs> trim off this little excess there. It's got buds on it though. Hey bud. Hey bud. I don't know what this is. It looks like a praying mantis nest animals, but smaller. Good thing we don't have those here. We do. You didn't know that? No. You grew up here and you didn't know you had praying mantis here? Don't believe me? Google it. Where? Let me see. Ew. It's good to have, though. Can't really. If that's what it is. Can't get the camera to focus. You see that? Wicked. So, praying mantis nests are usually a lot bigger than that. What? Kind of gross looking. I don't know what it is. For all I know, it's some sort of disease. That's awesome. And growth. I don't know. Yeah, we'll get it figured. Google. Google. Hope for the best. That's all I'm doing is hoping for the best. It's positive thinking, if you will. Just kind of hoping it's something that eats bugs instead of a bug that eats plants. <laughs> That'd be my luck. What it looks like. We can always just find it later and put it on there. Yep. Go out there and teach your cat something. I literally just push play and I said that. Edit. Clip. Now. Yeah, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But hey, it's fun either way, right? Okay, there's those. Yeah, they start to root and separate them later and put them in their own little uh, containers. Um. Last but not least, I got my four red currants and the only one I could trim off the white current. Okay, this is what it looks like. My uh, phone kind of ran out of uh, space, so I had to take a little break and get rid of some things. But, we got our hazelnuts. Oh, and our garden stuff back there. As you can see, habaneros 
and rosemaries are the only things that have not popped up. Kind of depressing, but that's alright. I can always plant some more if that's the case. Got some elderberries in these two. Tomatoes are looking spectacular. Got my white currants in there. Red currants in there. And Concord grapes in there. So, with any luck, this big experiment will actually be a success. I'm not going to make any promises, though. And... And we have a lot more planting we're going to do. We have a handful of uh, different varieties of uh, seeds we need to plant. So we'll see how that goes for us. Go ahead, baby. As you can see, we have grown a lot more, or we're growing a lot more than we could possibly use. Especially since I'm the only one in the family that actually likes tomatoes. It's a lie. <laughs> you I like ketchup. I like salsa. And salsa. Um, after last week's video where I was talking about the, uh, the food forest, Lauren asked me, uh, why do we need so much? Cause that's more than we could actually ever use or eat ourselves. Well, and the answer is fairly simple. Whatever we can't use, preserve, or eat ourselves, we will donate to the local food pantry if we can't also find people to buy it. Very simple. I really wish you guys could see how weird Lauren's being right now, but she would kill me. <laughs> it would be oh. slow, painful. It would be a slow, painful death, as she just told me. Uh, don't tell anybody I told you. Look at those pretties. So we planted a lot more herbs, a few more different varieties of tomatoes, and... Thanks. And we also did our, uh... Our cuttings today, so it was a good day. Fun, fun times. What did you plant? It doesn't matter. Make it really hard to focus. You know? Can you guys just sit still? <laughs> Thank you all for coming along. We'll keep you in touch and keep you in mind. We'll let you know how things are going in here into what will eventually probably end up being a jungle in this room here. If we're uh, lucky. Uh, please. <laughs> Consider, consider liking and subscribing. There you go. Happy trails. Happy trails.